Hey folks, welcome to another episode of The Natural Medic Adventures. I'm your host, Craig, The Natural Medic. Welcome to the channel. Glad that you're here. This week's episode, we're going to talk about cowboy camping. How to do it, what it is, and some advantages and disadvantages. Before we get started though, let me tell you about this shirt that I have on. It is a shirt I started making. I'm starting to make different shirt designs. And they're available on Amazon. I will place links in the description below. And of course, any proceeds I make from this goes to help support the channel. And I really appreciate you picking those up if you're so inclined. Let's get on and talk about cowboy camping. What is cowboy camping? Do you have to be a cowboy to do it? No, of course not. But you may be familiar with cowboy camping if you watched any Western movies with maybe John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, etc. It's basically camping out in the open with no shelter. You're not camping in a shelter. So you're not camping in a tent. You're not in a hammock. You're not in anything other than what you can see right here. Let's take a closer look. If you are cowboy camping, basically all you need is a few things. I'll talk about these particular items here in a little bit, what they are and who makes them and things like that. You're going to need, of course, something to lay on to make it comfortable. An inflatable pad or a foam pad, possibly both. A pillow if you want it. And since it's uh, Texas and it's summertime, basically, even though it's mid-May, the temps are going to reach the 90s today. We're having a heat spell. I just have a camping blanket right here. But you could use a sleeping bag or a quilt or whatever to curl up in there and go to sleep. So what's some advantages of cowboy camping? The number one advantage of cowboy camping is it's easy. If you have a setup like this, it doesn't weigh very much and it doesn't take a whole lot to set it up. Now I'm just set up here in my backyard, but you want to take full consideration some similar things that you would do for a tent, you want to have a generally uh, flat ground to lay on, and you want to have an area where if it rains, you don't get water coming in and the flooding <laughs> where you're laying and trying to sleep. That would be bad. Another advantage, it's relatively inexpensive. On this particular setup right here, I've spent less than $100 for my full sleeping setup. This particular blanket, you don't have to use this one, but I'll put it. I'll put a link to all of these different products in the description below, so you can check them out. And there will be affiliate links. If you do click on those, I will make a little bit off of the, each click. But it doesn't cost you anything extra, and it helps support the channel. Definitely appreciate that. This particular blanket here is just a puffy camping blanket made by a company called the King Camp. It folds up in this little sack down here at the bottom. Okay. That will cover yourself up. The sleeping pad that I have, since it's summertime, I don't really need any insulation, as it's going to get up in the 90s today, is by Sleep and Go. Just an inflatable pad that I found on Amazon. It's pretty comfortable, even though it's pretty inexpensive. I have a pillow there by Trekology, which I've seen, you've probably seen in other videos before. This particular pillow inflates and it uh, feels pretty close to you know a pillow like you have at the house at least to me lastly I have a tarp here by climate you've seen other climate products on other videos it's a nylon tarp just thick enough to provide some good protection but not very heavy and on each corner and also in the middle there are places where you could stake it down which is important we'll get to why that's important a little bit later cowboy camping setup is adaptable because you'd want to have a way in case the weather does get bad we'll talk about that as a con a little bit later but you want to be able to have an, an adaptable system here set up so you could cover yourself up from inclement weather a rainstorm wind etc because that could happen Generally speaking, you, you want to do cowboy camping in conditions where you've checked the weather forecast, rain is not in the forecast, or you don't have 
snowstorms or things like that coming out. You can do it any time of year, but it does depend on the weather because you don't have an external shelter to block any wind, etc. What are some cons that you would think about for cowboy camping? Con number one that people think about is what about the wildlife? Will the wildlife be out there to get me? I can tell you from experience, I've cowboy camped myself. I've mostly done it in more, uh, you know, arid areas or semi-arid areas like West Texas. I have done it in the Rocky Mountains a little bit. And generally speaking, animals that we think that might want to harm us, snakes for example, they are not going to want to curl up and spoon with us at night. That's just not going to happen. So you don't have to worry necessarily about snakes or other animals coming to get you. I think people look at a setup like this and they think about if I was in a tent, a bear would maybe think twice about coming in here and getting me. Well, I get it. The, I don't want to be the bearer of bad tidings, but what can happen in a situation like that is the bear, if that bear wants you, it's going to come through that layer of uh, nylon or whatever your shelter is made out of, and it's going to get you. That's just the facts. Now, the likelihood of that happening, especially if you have your food stored in a proper, like I said, with bears and other wildlife or snakes, they're not really generally concerned about messing with you or getting you or anything like that. So the nice thing about not being in that tent or whatever normal situation you might be uh, camping in is you are out there. Of course, in this situation, as I have trees above me, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to see the stars at night. But I am in East Texas, and there are a lot of trees. Not what you think of as Texas, as Texas like uh, Big Bend or Guadalupe Mountains, which is West Texas is what we think about. I wouldn't necessarily be able to see the stars where I'm at. But that is one of the pros and cons. You have a lot more openness, but you also have a lot more openness that you know, people can get worried about. Now, of course, insects is an issue. So what do you do? if you have insects. In that particular case, the majority of your body is going to be covered up. You may, in order to keep the insects off of you, if you're in insect country, like over here in East Texas where we're close to Louisiana, where it gets swampy, and we have some situations like that, you may have to put on a head net. I have right here, it's from a company called Benz, available on Amazon, it's just an Invisinet uh, head net. Let me put it on for you. Ben's head net goes on pretty quickly and it has lots of room in it. Kind of feel like you're maybe robbing a bank or something. It has these elastic pans that kind of go around your head. If you sleep with this on, the bugs cannot get to you and that'll keep you safe. Might make you feel a little claustrophobic versus, you know, having bugs swarming all over your face and your head. Probably a welcome change. In this case, with weather, I could pitch this in a way that would make it protect me at least somewhat from wind and rain and possibly maybe some snow. We're going to look at that right now. One particular way that you could pitch your tarp in order to protect yourself from inclement weather. There's of course a number of different configurations that you could do. This is just the easiest one for most situations. As you can see here, I have some guy lines that I made out of paracord that I already had and use my trekking pole to uh, post up the corner. And same thing over here. Of course, it's not going to protect like a, a full tent would, but it's gonna provide you some protection from wind, rain, inclement weather. The back two corners, I have those staked down so that they will hold in that particular configuration. Climate Roamer Tarp is what this is. It's pretty adaptable to a lot of people's needs. I definitely encourage you to try cowboy camping if you don't know anything about it, never tried it before. Or if you have tried it before, you can give it a try again. Anyone can do it and it's available pretty much anywhere. It doesn't have to be out in the desert or out in the western U.S. It could be the east, the midwest, anywhere that you're watching this video. I encourage you to give it a try. If you got value from this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out my contest.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the trail.